Hey there, welcome everyone to a new video with PSD Box. I'm Andre, and today I want to show you how I made this poster. Uh, it's not very difficult, but uh, when I made it, some of my colleagues asked me a uh, few things, and I just wanted to make a video for you to, uh, in case you find it useful. So uh, this poster is uh, I made it for an event that was hold that was held on my school, and it was the theme was. Uh, visual poet, uh, poetry and our task was uh, to make a poster like this and my classmates uh, well we all had to do uh, to had to make one of these uh, posters and uh, the winner would be the one that uh, will be printed and um, hanged all all over the school so when I made this a lot of my classmates asked me how did I make the falling letters because uh, they thought I just uh, created uh, every single letter one by one and in reality I just made a couple of them and then I replicated all of them. I guess that by now some of you already know how I made this but just in case there's people that don't know how I made this uh, let me just show you how I did this. So it's really easy I used brushes okay uh, I'm gonna deactivate uh, the layers here I rasterized everything just so uh, it's easier to see. I'm gonna give you this uh, PSD file with the poster if you want to if you want to have it or if you want to just take a look at it. So basically I have the background over here and I, well, these are just a few layers which I will delete because I just tried several things and I went with the V letter. And basically what I did is just a, a V letter. I turned it into a shape, I think, I'm not sure. And then I created a layer mask. Let me fill this. So the letter was like this. And then I just got the lasso tool and I just cropped part of it. The idea of the falling letters, I don't know, just came to me by, I don't know, uh, looking at other posters and I don't know, that's, uh, I thought it would be nice to create some, something like that. So just create a jagged edge here like so and use the layer mask to do it and create something like this. Next was uh, the creation of the pile. Of course, I made most of it using uh, using the, the lasso tool as well. I'm just going to do it again really quick so you can see how I did it. Uh, I got the lasso tool. This thing over here, the pile, uh, was excellent because this is where I would put the information about the contest, where the hours were, the place, and the name of the, of the event. Okay, so I used this uh, as a background as well. Um, so basically what I did, I just got the uh, lasso tool, I don't have my, I'm, I'm going to do it with the mouse, you can do it. So just create a pile like so, a little bigger like that. It doesn't really matter the edges because uh, we're going to fill this with black, so fill that with black. And we have the main part of the poster created. The next step, which is the tricky <laughs> thing that my classmates didn't know how to do, was creating the brushes. So basically you just get the uh, text tool, create a new layer, and type any text you want. Uh, use a big uh, size for it, just one letter. For example, the R letter, but this one, well, not really. I just want to make it bigger, like so. Uh, I'm going to put it on bold. It doesn't really matter which font you use. I tr I like to use uh, I try to use one that has no serifs. So uh, I think I'm gonna use the Arial. It's okay. Arial narrow. It's okay. But we're gonna put it on bold. So basically, you what you do is you turn this into a brush, and you do this with a couple or, or three or four letters, and make sure you have a background that's white. Select your letter. Go to Edit. Choose Define Brush Preset and type R for the name and you have it. You have one brush. Next, double click on the layer to select the text and use another letter, for example, an A. You can use uh, capitals or uh, whatever you want. Again, with the selection still active, define brush preset. Let's name this A. And I'm going to do just another one just for the sake of it. Uh, maybe, I don't know, the Y letter. Okay. And again, edit, define brush preset and I'm going to name this Y and click OK. Now, if I get the brush tool, I'm going to deselect with Control Command D, delete that letter because I no longer need it. You can see that my letter now is here uh, because I have the brush selected. And here on the brush panel, you can see that my letters are here, the ones that I created. Uh, one is missing, I don't know why. Anyways, 
Um, now, what you do with this, if you just start painting with this, you get something like this, which is not nice. So what I'm going to do, uh, what I want to do is create the pile of letters over here. So uh, first I have to change the behavior of the brush. I'm going to open the brush settings, increase the spacing a little bit and start tweaking the shape dynamics. We're going to change the size and we're also going to change the angle. And what else? Uh, scattering, we're going to add a little bit, not too much. Something like that. Of course, these settings are also affected by the size of the brush. In my case, it's pretty big. Uh, I'm going to activate, I don't know where that empty layer is. I'm going to create a new one over here. Um, it depends on the brush size. Of course, for this, we want something that's small. You can make a few tests. Just, yeah, this one looks nice. The size of this is okay. And just follow this like so. If you create uh, if you create this pile using the path tool, you can actually stroke the path with this brush and it's going to create this automatically by just one click, by just one click, but uh, you can do it manually. It doesn't really, it's not really that difficult and it's fun. Uh, use different brush sizes and just remember we're just creating the edge. Okay. This is the positive pass. Uh, we're going to do this. Uh, we're going to, you're going to see how you can also make the negative pass. And because we already have the brush set, let's create the negative pass as well. What you do, you can see that this, I created this on a separate layer. Now you go to the layer one, to the pile. Let's name this uh, pile so you can see what I'm doing and create a layer mask. And now for this layer mask, we're going to paint with the same brush with black. And essentially what we're going to do is remove part of the edge because we don't want to have this straight line. It's not going to look nice. Uh, oops, now it's going to show up everything okay uh, you don't want to have that straight line okay so uh, also you don't want to use a soft brush for this because you want to have this in the in the shape of the letters and you don't have to do it entirely but just a few passes and then get uh, don't do the same uh, uh, with the uh, don't do this uh, too many passes with the same brush because it's not going to look nice so try using at least three brushes i'm going to do this one really quick Shape dynamics, scattering, I think it's too much. Brush tip shape, tip shape, I'm gonna increase it on the shape dynamics, change the angle, and again, paint on the, on, I'm painting on the same, uh, on the same uh, layer mask. When you paint on the, on the layer mask, use a smaller brush, really small. You don't need something really big because you're gonna get lots of gaps in there just to avoid having that straight line and that's it. Okay, and now get on the, on layer two on this one. And again, paint with black, but this time with the R letter. Okay, and fill the gaps. And that's pretty much it. Now, it, it, this one is not looking that nice. It's not looking as nice as the other one, but uh, it's very quick to create. The same thing for the falling letters. I used the same exact technique. Uh, using this uh, brush, you can paint that letter and then maybe, I don't know which one is it, this one. And you can see you have the falling letters in just a few brushes. And the same with the V. Use the, use the layer mask that you create and paint with black with one brush to avoid having those jagged, well, that straight line, like so. Use a pass with a bigger brush and then just switch brushes every time. And then on that same brush of the pile, create the positive falling letters. You don't want to have letters, letters uh, from there uh, on that side because these letters are supposed to be from from this V that is breaking. Okay. And then I also added the those uh, red letters and here then I put the information uh, using different fonts and different colors and sizes. And that's how I created this. Uh, I'm going to go back to the initial state. Okay. This is how uh, it looked like. Uh, using smaller letters looks uh, looks better, but for the falling ones, I used something a little bigger. So there you have it. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, post a comment if you if you like this. If you create something similar to this, post it on your Instagram or Facebook and use the hashtag PSDBox. I'll be glad to see what you've done. And please make sure you uh, mention my tutorial and my website. It's going to help me a lot. And as I said, I'm going to upload this on my resources website, resources.psdbox.com, so you can download it and take a look at it if you want. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.